your lamb flanks. So side ribs basically is what they are and you can see there's a little tiny bone in it and the rest is meat. Dogs so would you love cut them. that up or you give it? Depends on your dog. I could give a dog like Kramer, I could just say here you go <laughs> and he could go eat it or you. some people, we have dogs ranging from like three pounds you know, up to almost 200 pounds, right? So it depends on the size of your dog. Some people only cut little pieces and feed it with something else. Okay. So it really depends on how you're feeding your dog. Then we have, these are goat cubes. Mm. So the goat is uh, cut into little cubes and it has bone in it. Dogs like them too. We have turkey livers, because all animals should have some liver. The, part of the diet should have about 5% liver. Then we have, well, these are nice little snacks, and these are chicken feet. Ah! <laughs> chicken, chicken feet, though, are really good for them. They're full of glucosamine and chondroitin. So instead of having to give them a glucosamine pill, let's give them something that the body recognizes. And so it's good for their joints. It looks like, like with little nails and stuff on them. People eat these, too. And we dehydrate them, which I'll show you with our dehydrated ones. You can have them, too, so they're a little bit more of a chew. We have to let everybody have one, right? Oh, they like those. We have... What else you got in there? These are gizzards, chicken gizzards. People eat these too. You can buy them in the grocery store. We have chicken carcasses. This is just the carcass of a chicken after they've taken off the breast and the thighs and everything. So the whole back's attached. There's a lot of meat on here, and it's a great meal for a dog too. And they just crunch up the bones and eat them. Mm. And people get worried about the bones. Yeah. That's one they get worried about. But when especially they're raw. chicken bones. When they're raw, they're like rubber. It's when you cook them that they're extremely dangerous. Never give your dog any cooked bones, any smoked bones, any bones. No matter what type. Yeah. No matter what type. These are always yummy. These are pork, these are beef briskets. This is cartilage. So when this is thawed, you can just take a knife and cut right through that. Mm. It's really easy to chew on. Dogs love it. You know, it's got a nice chew to it. It's got lots of beef in it, got lots of cartilage in it. Yeah, so it looks like a bone, but it's not. It's, it's not a bone. Oh. We do ground beef also. This is our ground beef. We use neck meat, and it has glands in it still, so it's a, not quite as pretty as the meat you get from the grocery store. Yeah, it looks a, a bit darker. It is darker, a little bit bloodier, but it has more in it that the dogs like. These are pork cheeks, actually, these ones. Pork cheeks. These, we have both. Yes, they are actually from the cheek. It's not the butt cheek, it's the cheek cheek. <laughs> <laughs> well, you carry it all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is part of a pork neck. And people look at the bones and think, wow. But the pork bones are actually very soft and easy for them to eat. And they just chew this whole thing up and eat it. All sorts of goodies. And of course, this is a heart. We carry a lot of different Whoa. hearts. We carry turkey hearts, chicken hearts, beef heart, which is big. And this is a pork heart. So you can see there's different yeah. sizes of hearts that you can have. So I also make some treats. And these are called hoofers. So we stuff them and we stuff them with an offal, which is the, the organ meat mixture.